Okay, I'll try the tool again. And this time it's going to be in the root of C. All right, I clicked on enter. It's reading. Do I want to update it? Yes. All right, you can see that bottom status bar. See if I can get it out of the way a little bit. It's going processing right now. Uh, this is scary to a lot of people if you have a it's not to me anymore like I said I put the recovery method in there absolutely I've done enough of these I've had to take batteries out and let them sit 30 minutes to an hour clear the CMOS I've done enough BIOS upgrades that it doesn't even phase me anymore if it messes up you mess it up you recover and do it again don't be afraid. I used to be afraid of breaking the motherboard. Not anymore. They're actually pretty tough. When I was in training in a youngster, less than five years experience now, I'm over 30, but a guy that worked at Tinker Air Force Base kind of trained me. So me and another guy worked on this expansion card. It was for, at the time, in the 90s. It was late 80s. 80s 1990 they made a sound card for blind people that would read all the text on the screen anyway i'm in the middle of a reboot we worked on it for uh, three days a week couldn't get it to work we take it to the guy that trained me he just looks at it looks at me he grabs that card just smashes it into the seat we didn't have it all the way in the slot we didn't know that we thought we did okay bios is updating right now so you see the message do not touch the keyboard don't do anything right now so it read it probably take just as long maybe longer to write it to the bios there we go maybe not We're going to let it do its thing till it settles into Windows. Then we'll come back and check just to make sure it's finished. And it does. Please enter setup to recover bio setting. When RAID configuration was built, sure to set up. F1 to run setup. Okay. So all I'm going to do on this first one is hit F10 to save. Save configuration and reset. Yes because it's got a new BIOS, so it's wanting to know what the heck to do. Just like it was a new machine. Let's see if it goes past it this time. You don't want to go into it right away and start uh, putting all your settings back. Wait till it gets cycled. So now it's loading Windows. Should, Windows should be up in a second. All right, there's Windows back. I don't even know what all software <coughs> shows the BIOS, but we're gonna pull up. Uh, hey, let's see, CPU Z. I got a bunch in here. Where is it all? Let's see what this one says. Okay, show my 3700. It's still, the core speed still jumping up to 4300. We're doing good there. Main board, Asus Tech. There's my new BIOS 2407, the one I, from 701 2020. 
Let's see what my memory is sitting at. So I'm gonna have to need to go reset my memory. Oh, see, it looks like it saved it. Exit and P profile over there. We'll go double check. And this is 1660 Super Streamer. Okay, let's go back in the boss, take a quick look. Boss version 2407-71, July 2020, and speed, I'm going to go set my XMP profile. my memory profile now clock is one to one sync yeah 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 okay Right now, I'm just going to save it with the memory profile. <coughs> I'll come back later once we do get ready to do some more overclocking. Sorry about that. I was staring at the chat for a second. I don't even think anybody's watching, but maybe somebody will watch it later. Main thing I want to look at is the AMD CBS menu. See if there's any options changed. The one I made on the Gigabyte F10 BIOS is when. Oh, dang it. I missed it. Um. When Gigabyte put all the ones that AMD recommends to set for autopilot on the CPU, um, they put it all in one menu, which made it super easy to change all your settings at once. You set your RAM profile, you change these settings. Um, they're in the Gigabyte F10 BIOS video I made. Those are the ones AMD says. And I need to stop talking and pay attention. Okay, here we go. Alright, so they're in the F10 BIOS video. Where they put them all in one menu. Now we got these three AMD menus. It's all messed up. Okay, they did change. This did change. Both of these are in here now. They weren't in the previous BIOS. That's one I need to change. That one's I need to change. That one, that one. 
I don't need these. At any rate, I'd only had one of these CPPCs before. So on my other machine, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up. And when we're done, I'll go show you which ones I'm, well, you, you'll be able to see right now, but. So get her pulled up here. Check chance to check my YouTube stream anyway. Yeah, it looks like we're still going. Okay, F10 BIOS. Wow, okay. Here's my notes. All right, AMD cool and quiet. We're looking for that one. Is, is it if it's there, you're supposed to set it to enabled. Okay, this is an AMD CBS menu. Don't see any cool and quiet, which is an old feature, so I don't see it. Global C state control we're supposed to set to enabled. Power supply low current auto. Um, PPC adjustment. I don't know. Okay, this is supposed to be enabled. Enabled. So right now I've changed these four. Core performance was. I needed to see a PPC adjustments in here. So right now. To enable four out of six. Let's see if any of these others are in here. So this is when you started into the RAM settings. I don't want to do any of that right now. And they're telling you to set your RAM. I'm not going to change this right now. I'll come back later. Um, but set this to, for one to one to match your RAM speed. FLCK, Infinity Fabric 2. That's where you would set it to match one to one. I'm running 3600 RAM, so that matched my RAM. You would turn it on, go to advanced if you want, and change your PVO limits. I'm not doing this right now. Ooh, LN2 mode, did not know it had that. Um, SOC voltage. So these are more memory settings right here. Memory nodes per socket. Interesting. in PBS nothing there I believe that one changed all right so we got these four um, all right so 
We got four out of six. So I'll do some more investigating. I'll we'll check those others. Other than that, um, still got my memory set. Could play with OC tuner. I don't think I'm going to right now. Performance BIOS auto. Oh, I don't want any of that. So I'll do some more investigating before I do any more of these changes. Looking for global P state zero. I'll have to look it up. All right, guys, I'm going to save this, reset it, make sure we get into Windows just fine, and we'll start this again later. those settings I want this F10 BIOS video right here let's go edit that so these is what I was looking at changing right here uh, this one I couldn't find and this one I couldn't find inside this video is a discrete this works on all AMD Ryzen 3000 processors these along with AMD Ryzen uh, power plan are supposed to be about as best automatic uh, pilot on your CPU without enabling precision boost or if you enable it um, or the auto OC in the motherboard bus where the processor lets loose and does its thing on its own so this is what I I changed four out of six this one I couldn't find Cool and quiet, and this one. I'm gonna look them up and get back with you. All right, guys, talk to you later.